You're probably wondering where I got this amazing outfit. Hello, tonight on Pretty Good Cooking, we're going to teach you how to make paneer, which is a cheese. And you're probably wondering where the cheese hat is. Well, I'm tired of wearing it. I have some dignity! So, alright, you, the first step should be to make a drink, but you're, you got, you're working with milk. So if you like really wanted to drink right now, you could drink a little bit of milk and you would be a milk drinker. And you would be a child of three. So, well, we're just gonna hold off for a second. I got a gallon of milk, this whole milk, and uh, it's not ultra high pasteurized, it's just pasteurized. If you get ultra high, it won't work, so I've read. And I gotta make some other stuff with milk, so I'm gonna save a cup of this. Oh my god! Iggy! Iggy! Iggy, want some milk? A uh, little milk drinking pops. See ya! And then the rest goes in a pot. I highly recommend using a non-stick pot for this purposes. Also, if you got any vegan friends and they're like, Oh, you cook a milk, that's gonna smell bad. Tell them to go eat a broccoli. And uh, not a very good one. Like a uh, three day old once cooked but then microwaved again and maybe fell on the ground broccoli. Uh, you, it's, you gotta heat it slowly, so I'm gonna do like medium low heat. It's gonna take 20 years, but if you don't heat it slowly, you'll, you'll burn the milk and the vegans will be really pissed. Uh, that's gonna take forever. Oh, we'll, we'll come back to that when it's, when it's steaming, but not boiling. Okay. Okay, so we're making the cheese. Our milk's steaming here, but not boiling, which is good, and that's where we want it. So we're gonna add an acid. We're gonna use lemon juice. And the, the acid separates the curds from the whey. It's a science. So I got this lemon juicer here. I don't know if I'm using it properly, but I don't think I'm using it properly. I think maybe it's supposed to go the other way. But I think my lemon's too fat. Yeah, all right. So that's juice of, probably just juice of one lemon will do it. So we, uh, now that it's steamy, we get it spinning. Iggy bitty! Thank you! And then we add the acid. Might need more than this. But what should start to happen almost immediately is it should start curding. And when you like stir it up, it'll separate a little bit. Um, needs more acid. So I'm gonna add another lemon. Alright, more acid. Alright, you can already see it's starting to, they're like on the top. So you, you got some things that are cheese like in nature. So I'm gonna like really briefly turn up the heat just to make it do something. And then would turn my Iggy! Iggy, 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 Iggy! I'm gonna take it off the heat and uh, cover it and leave it for 10 minutes. And this will uh, allow it time for the acid to fully separate the curds. In the meantime, we'll set up our cheese station, which involves a strainer and a bowl. Yeah. Perfect. So you put that in the sink. You'll also need some cheesecloth, which has many household uses, like poaching and basting. So you take your cheesecloth here, unwind it up a little bit, maybe give it the old, the old yo-yo, and go. Trademark. Hashtag. All rights reserved. Limited. Licensed. Corporation. And uh, you're gonna line your strainer with this, which I seem to recall it being less weird than this. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna give it the old college try. I remember it being whiter than this. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, you can use all kinds of materials in place of cheesecloth, such as a handkerchief if it's clean. But uh, this is what we got. So we're, we're gonna do like multiple layers in there. Kind of layer it such as I'm doing. And it doesn't have to be perfect really, because I, I if we ever made anything perfect on this show, I think I'd just quit. I'd just move back to Alabama. Oh, mercy, I'm hot. I need to give a paper towel. Okay, so it's been a few minutes here, and you can see it's already looking very curd-like. If you take a spoon and like push it together, this right here, this is fresh cheese, and this is pretty similar to ricotta. I guess it would be good to point out now that what we're making is it's just fresh cheese. 
And so a lot of different cultures have like their own version of this. Like, okay, so fresco in Mexico or ricotta in Italy, paneer in India. So because the milk's still kind of kind of thick, means it could keep separating. Then I'll probably add just a little bit more acid and let it sit a little bit longer. I'm chopping half of it, so it ended up being like two and a half. A little bit more in there, and we stir it all around. Let's wait a couple more minutes. Here. He's been so bad, I don't know what his deal is. Here we got our curds, and we're gonna strain them. You know, like, the curds and the whey and the Miss Moppet and all that shit. That's what's happening right now. Um, so, some of my cheesecloth kind of fell in, and it's all getting worse as I go. Well, that's gonna take an eternity to strain. Maybe if we jiggle it. Well, I've done this in the past, it was more clear the way. Maybe I didn't heat it up enough. So, we stopped straining. <laughs> I don't know why. So we're gonna try to gather up our cheesecloth here into some semblance of something. Wow, that did not make much at all. We might be going back to the store by the year, just saying. Okay, so we're gonna tie that, sort of tie that up here. I don't need to tell you what it looks like. I think I f***ed this up and uh, we might have to go back to the store to buy cheese. I think I didn't heat it enough because there's not, there's like barely any curds. It should be way more than that. I think it needed more heat. So, uh, actually, I think I'll just put it back in and heat it again. <laughs> let's see what happens. And let's use a different acid. Let's use vinegar. But you're probably thinking, like, vinegar in my cheese. But you're probably not actually thinking that because you have no fing clue how to make cheese. Listen, boys, the cheese making is infuriating. I don't recommend it. That's some weird cut. This cheese is fing trying to make, like, uncheese it so I can re cheese it. This might not happen. What in the fuck? What in the actual fuck? Okay, so there's some cheese. Whatever the f This is f 